Theodore Dreiser, the mastermind behind the celebrated novel An American Tragedy, was not just a novelist, he was a forerunner in the naturalist school of literature. His indelible mark on American literature stems from his ability to craft narratives that are unflinchingly honest, presenting life in its rawest form. Dreiser's works were a stark departure from the glossy veneer of fiction, choosing instead to illuminate the stark realities of life. His impact on the naturalist school was profound, leading the way for a literary movement that valued authenticity over embellishment. An American tragedy is the epitome of Dreiser's visionary storytelling. The narrative is more than just a tale. It's a thought-provoking study of American society. The novel navigates through the complex web of societal expectations, ambition, and the frailty of the human condition. Its themes are powerful, dissecting the American dream and exposing its often overlooked shadows. The narrative draws us into the labyrinthine life of Clyde Griffiths, whose ambition and social constraints paint a vivid portrait of the human struggle. Griffiths's pursuit of success, intertwined with the limitations imposed by his social class, molds him into a tragic hero. His narrative is a chilling exploration into the depths of human nature, revealing the inherent weaknesses and moral compromises that often accompany unchecked ambition. The novel's timeless themes are as striking today as they were at the time of its publication. The desire for social status, the grim realities of life and the human condition, are as relevant now as they were in the early 20th century. Dreiser's An American Tragedy is an undiluted reflection of these themes, mirroring the societal dynamics that continue to shape our world. An American Tragedy is a compelling narrative that unearths the blurred lines between ambition and morality. It is a story that showcases the power of Dreiser's storytelling and his ability to craft complex characters that are innately human in their struggles and desires. Clyde Griffiths remains a timeless character, a symbol of the eternal struggle between ambition and moral integrity. His story and the overarching narrative of an American tragedy lingers in the minds of readers long after the last page has been turned. The novel, nearly a century since its publication, continues to reverberate in the realm of American and serves as a testimony to Dreiser's enduring literary genius. Now, let's dive even deeper into the compelling world that Dreiser has masterfully crafted for. In the beginning, we meet Clyde Griffiths, the protagonist of our tale. A young man of humble origins, Clyde yearns for a life beyond the confines of his impoverished upbringing. Born to itinerant street preachers, he is instilled with a sense of ambition that is both his driving force and his fatal flaw. The first five chapters of An American Tragedy present us with a vivid portrayal of Clyde's life. He initially works as a bellboy in a high-end Kansas City hotel. Here, he is exposed to a world of wealth and glamour that is starkly different from his own. This exposure ignites a spark in Clyde, a desire for a life of affluence and social standing that becomes his all-consuming goal. One of the key events in these initial chapters is Clyde's encounter with a young woman named Hortense Briggs. She is beautiful, fashionable, and represents everything Clyde aspires to. Clyde is so captivated by Hortense that he begins to compromise his moral compass engaging in theft to afford a fur coat she desires. This interaction with Hortense serves to underline Clyde's susceptibility to external influences. It also foreshadows the tragic consequences of his unrelenting pursuit of status and material wealth. The novel does a fantastic job of highlighting the disparity between Clyde's dreams and his reality, setting the stage for the trials and tribulations that lie ahead. In these early chapters Dreiser also introduces us to the concept of the American Dream, a recurring theme throughout the novel. The American dream for Clyde is not just about financial success, but also about social mobility and acceptance. However, Clyde's interpretation of this dream is flawed, as he equates material wealth with personal worth and happiness. Theodore Dreiser's An American Tragedy is a poignant exploration of ambition, morality, and the human condition. Through the character of Clyde Griffiths, Dreiser paints a bleak picture of the American dream and its potentially destructive allure. These chapters lay the groundwork for Clyde's tragic journey. They serve as a mirror, reflecting the societal pressures and personal failings that lead Clyde down a path of self-destruction. As we delve deeper into the narrative, we can't help but wonder, is Clyde a victim of circumstance or is he the architect of his own downfall? As we move forward, Clyde's ambition grows, but so does his desperation. In the heart of the narrative, chapters 6 to 10, we witness Clyde's trajectory take a dramatic turn. 
His journey from a naive young man to someone caught in a web of his own making is both riveting and tragic. Theodore Dreiser masterfully constructs Clyde's encounter with Roberta in these chapters. It's no ordinary meet-cute. Instead, it's a stark reminder of the class divide and the lengths one might go to bridge it. Roberta, unlike Clyde, comes from a modest background. She is simple, kind, and unassuming, characteristics that initially draw Clyde to her. Yet as he ascends the social ladder, his feelings wane, and he starts viewing Roberta as a hindrance to his ambition. In the final chapters, Clyde's fate is sealed. As we delve into these concluding sections of Theodore Dreiser's An American Tragedy, we bear witness to the dramatic unraveling of Clyde Griffiths's life. From chapter 11 onwards, the narrative takes a turn towards the legal proceedings of Clyde's trial. It's a meticulous dissection of the American justice system, highlighting the role of wealth and social status in determining a person's fate. Clyde, once a young man with dreams of prosperity, now stands as an accused, his fate hanging precariously in the balance. The trial is a spectacle, drawing in the public's attention and fascination. Dreiser brilliantly captures the public's reaction, a mix of morbid curiosity and sanctimonious condemnation. The courtroom drama unfolds much like a theatrical performance with Clyde at the center, the tragic hero of his own downfall. As the trial progresses we see Clyde's desperation grow. He's a far cry from the ambitious young man we first met, now reduced to a pitiful figure, scrambling for a shred of hope. The public watches, some with glee, others with a sense of grim satisfaction, as Clyde's dreams of success crumble around him. Finally, the verdict is delivered. The sense of inevitability that has been building throughout the trial reaches its climax. Despite his pleas and protestations, Clyde is found guilty. His fate, once tied to his dreams of wealth and status, is now sealed by the very society he so desperately wanted to be a part of. The ending of an American tragedy is significant, not just for its dramatic conclusion, but for the profound impact it leaves on the reader. It's a stark reminder of the often harsh realities of the American dream. The allure of success and the pursuit of wealth, so often romanticized, can also lead to one's downfall. In the end, Clyde's tragedy is a reflection of the American dream gone awry. It's a powerful testament to Dreiser's storytelling prowess and his keen insight into the complexities of human nature and society. Theodore Dreiser's An American Tragedy is a profound exploration of ambition, morality, and the American dream. As we've journeyed through this epic tale, we've delved into the complex layers of its protagonist, Clyde Griffiths, and the world he navigates. We've seen his rise and fall, fueled by ambition and a desperate desire to climb the social ladder. His tragic end serves as a potent reminder of the dangerous allure of the American dream and the price one might pay for its pursuit. In the early chapters, we witnessed Clyde's humble beginnings and his first taste of the high society he so craves. Dreiser masterfully paints a picture of a young man torn between his modest upbringing and his aspirations for a life of luxury and status. The social dichotomy is a central theme, highlighting the stark contrast between the haves and the have-nots, a divide that Clyde is desperate to cross. We then moved on to the middle chapters, where Clyde's ambition begins to cloud his moral judgment. His relationship with Roberta Alden and his subsequent actions, reflect the depths to which he is willing to sink to maintain his newfound status. Dreiser uses Clyde as a mirror to society, showing how ambition can distort one's moral compass, leading to devastating consequences. In the final chapters we saw the culmination of Clyde's choices and the tragic consequences of his unchecked ambition. The courtroom scene is a powerful portrayal of justice and the societal implications of Clyde's actions. Dreiser's critique of the American justice system and its treatment of the wealthy versus the poor is as relevant today as it was in the early 20th century. An American tragedy stands as an important pillar in American literature, as it encapsulates the essence of the American dream and its potential pitfalls. It's a narrative that forces its readers to question their own ambitions and the lengths they would go to achieve them. The novel's themes of social inequality, moral decay, and the pursuit of wealth are timeless, resonating with readers even in the 21st century. Dreiser's work serves as a stark reminder of how the pursuit of the American dream can lead to one's downfall if left unchecked. His portrayal of Clyde and his tragic end forces us to reflect on our own ambitions and the potential consequences of our actions. It's a powerful commentary on society, morality, and the human condition. In conclusion, An American Tragedy is not just a novel, 
It's a critique of society and a mirror held up to its readers. It's a tale of ambition and morality, a cautionary tale that warns of the dangers of unchecked desire and the pursuit of material wealth. It's a timeless piece of literature that continues to resonate with readers reminding us of our own ambitions and the potential tragedy that can ensue when those ambitions are not tempered by morality. In Dreiser's world, we see a mirror reflecting our own society, a reminder of the tragic potential of unchecked ambition and moral decay. Mm -hmm.